let's take one more exercise in solid works and uh, we will try to do this exercise with solid works surface feature okay now we have here one side view then one section view you see this is the side view and this is the section view of this side view and this is the bottom view okay so uh, let's create this uh, this side view 56 60 50 uh, this is the actually what we call angle and the depth or height you will see here 12 okay then we will see what else we can do and uh, even though there is a one rib you will see in this bottom view 15 outer okay and thickness 1.2 See here also thickness 1.2. So we are going to keep thickness 1.2 and the length of this uh, 66. So front plane sketch activate line tool. Okay. Horizontal. Let me draw one center line. This is the important line. Okay. Now let's define the angle first. So select this line and select this end point and you will see this thread. Select this one and see define the angle. 50 degree. That's fine. Now the outer length. So select this one and this construction line and move cursor outside and you will see let's place outer diameter 56 okay do one thing select this one and this one and the depth is only 12 millimeter now look it seems quite practical okay go to feature surfaces and activate X revolve surfaces okay now see by default system took this center line as a axis of revolution and I want to make complete body so here in direction one choose blind and make angle 360 degree complete if you make uh, small it, let's say 180 see this is going to be half circle so I am going to be 360 degree Okay, I am going to apply some color so that uh, look better for better visibility. Red, fine. See. Now right plane, sketch, activate line tool. Okay. Now again I want to make one... draw a line from this midpoint to this origin point and do one thing select this line vertical select these two lines okay this already at the center we don't need to define anything more 15 now you will see the outer radius r3 and height for this you will see here 8 millimeter eight millimeter activate fillet three millimeter radius and let's select these two corners say yes yes okay and cancel now again go to surface and activate extruded surface feature okay now here start condition we will keep same but end condition I am going to mid plane so that I am going to move equally both sides let's say 66 okay now let's try to trim this middle one now I want to trim this so activate trim surfaces now let's say trim type is standard I'm not going to do manual and now selection tool the most important thing let's say I'm going to select this tool now we have two options keep or remove selection so select remove selection 
Now I am going to move and select this face and select this face. You will see this pink color. This is going to remove a split all say OK and look here. Similarly again surface. Now this time is split tool. I am going to keep this one. Remove selection. So keep cursor over this edge and see this is become yellow, uh, red or orange, whatever you say. Look now it's become pink. The standard procedure is split all natural. Say OK and look the shape is created. Now let's do thing make this one. Now you will see here there are three number of body all are separate. So we have to unite this knit surface. One, two, three. Merge entities. Say OK. Now look here only one body. Let's say thick thickness. Now thickness is going to be one point two millimeter and select the body and look material going to where we need outside actually. Let me check again. No material we should be it should be inside. Now look the outer dimension 15. So material should be inside. So this is perfect material is going to be add inside. Okay. But there is a some uneven shapes. So I'm going to select this face sketch and I'm going to activate circle. Okay. Extruded cut. Reverse here. Choose all. All like only these small portions. Okay. Now see this is a flush surface. Now let's add this. You will see here there is a hole. This uh, outer diameter. Okay. Let's take from bottom. Inner diameter 15. Then there is one more uh, body 18 and thickness of this body 1.5. Okay. This is inner diameter. Okay. So we will uh, make this one, but you will see there is a hole and there is one more hole. Now we will start this top 19 minus 12. This is going to be seven and these depth you have to calculate. So 12 minus uh, eight, uh, this is going to be four. Okay. Four. Then you have to add here thickness 1.2 plus 1.2, 5.2. Okay. Select this face, sketch, activate here circle. Now let's make inner diameter 15. Extrude. Okay. Now here I'm going to choose thin feature. Thin feature how much? 1.2. Make sure thin feature goes outside. See? Now direction 1. Clearly 19 minus 12, it's 7. But direction 2, here activate direction 2. And this is going to be 12 minus 8 plus 1.2. 5.2. Okay. Similarly, again, the inner circle 8. extrude. Now I want to move reverse thin feature 1.2. You will see thickness going to outside and this is going to be same 5.2. You will just rotate. See this is going to flush with this. Okay. Look. Now let's make here hole. So select this internal sketch convert entity. Now the hole is already here extruded cut and make throughout hole. So keep here through all. Okay. And here we go. Now let's make this one. This depth 8 millimeter. Okay. 5 diameter. 
and here uh, let's say 28 the center distance fine select this face or uh, okay let's better to extrude from this face so that we have a per perfect uh, size now let me select these two circles equal spacing now again select the center point horizontal smart dimension 5 28 and we need to put half let's say 14 now it is in fully defined sketch extruded boss base and simply go reverse direction and make depth 8 millimeter see now you can use whole wizard tool to create a hole let's say simple hole iso standard let's say drill and uh, okay Now you can choose here custom hole 5 minus 1.2 minus 1.2 2.6 okay make it through all position select this face and place at center exit this is fully defined this sketch okay and here we go you will see the whole size now we need to make a rib you will see there is a rib 1.2 select this face a sketch now Activate line tool, connect, exit, again press L key in your keyboard and activate line tool, connect from here to here, press escape key, L key in your keyboard and activate the same thing, now place at center to center node. Look, it seems fully defined this sketch. Okay. Go to feature rib. Now here, the depth, uh, thickness 1.2. And see, make sure this is uh, arrow should move towards uh, down. Say okay. And you will see the preview. See how the ribs are created. front plane section view okay front plane normal look this is what uh, we need to achieve don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching